I don't know if we were to have a second child, what would happen, how we would cope. I'd probably go bonkers, I think. Um, right, remember to edit that bit out. Okay. My son is currently 27 months old and I wanted to establish a routine fairly early on after he was born, although it was considerably difficult because he suffered from severe reflux up until 10 months. In the early days, he would dictate the timings in the day. We would have to see how he would be after a feed. Usually it would come out, so we would have to do a lot of cleaning. Also be prepared for change, as change is inevitable and things happen, illnesses happen, teething happens, so this can all throw things off timings in the day. But the best thing I find about having a routine is that it just gives Jay some sort of a structure to the day ahead. Even though he is perhaps a little too young to understand every single aspect of the day, he's beginning to understand certain things happen at certain times. So what do we do in our daily routine? So I'm gonna start with, in the morning, I usually get up before Jay does. This gives me some time to go and do what I need to do and get ready. For me, it's really important that I shower and get ready for the day ahead. And when he wakes up around 7.30, we come downstairs, I give him a full bottle of milk and I change his nappy. We work to having breakfast between, I'd say, 8.30 and nine. I will then get him sort of freshened up, brush his teeth, and we come downstairs and we watch television or have it on in the background or read books and have some playtime together. Around 11, actually around 10.45, I give him his mid-morning snack, which usually consists of um, either apple or kale crisps, which he loves. Around 11, I will put on some music and we could just carry on doing what we're doing or we may head out to the park. During the weeks we do actually go to various groups so he has a toddler group that he goes to. We also go to a nursery rhyme time class. We have messy play on Mondays so there's a couple of activities that we enjoy doing together as well. Around lunchtime which tends to be about 12 o'clock, 12 30, we will have lunch and then I hope most of the times that he goes down for a nap, which tends to happen around 12.30. He usually sleeps for about an hour, hour and a half. If I'm lucky, two hours. During his nap time, it's that time where I start to get on with the jobs that I need to do, or if I'm working, I catch up on emails and that sort of thing. So it's uh, quite a rush to get things done. I don't ever have a nap myself unless I'm absolutely tired and exhausted or I'm unwell but as we all know in this uh, in this job there are no sick days for parents so it's pretty full on. When he wakes up from his nap uh, he has again sort of an afternoon snack and then we head out to the park because I feel that it's really important that we do something outside. He loves being outdoors so that's really important to, to factor in. We often go to the library as well, so I'm quite lucky as I have one very local to me. In the afternoon, he has some fruit uh, or some yogurt, and we start um, setting up for dinner, uh, which usually takes place around six o'clock. I'm sort of hoping at this time that my husband's back from work and we can sit down and have a family meal together. The bedtime ritual is there to calm him down and it's just a really nice time to sort of unwind and read to him as I feel like this is something he really enjoys, just having us read to him on the sofa before he goes to sleep. If you are worried about implementing a routine, not to worry, it's Never easy, because each child is different. When I talk to other friends about what they do as part of their routine, it just strikes me that, you know, it all depends on the family, how many children there are, and what works for them. So one routine may work 
for one family and it might not work for another. I just feel that it's important to not get too stressed out one day. Oh. 